So for you who are alive, a common theme of shamanism is that you know death and you approach it, and you realize it, you embrace it, and go to the other side of reality. The shaman is one who travels across worlds and times and space, not linear time, to see beyond the simple world of three-dimensional reality. And we have seen in tribes around the world that shamans are in many places around the world where their indigenous peoples have a great love for planet Earth. They never have been castigated by those who followed the shamans in their cultures. <coughs> Christians say they were heathens and pagans, yet Christ was a shaman, as was Santa Claus. You look at Christ in the zero century AD, that Christ appeared in more than one place at the same time here on the planet Earth, as Xerococha, as Kuku Khan, as Quetzalcoatl, and also as Joshua among the Hmong of those in Laos, Cambodia, in the Far East as well as Tibet here in Americas, South America, and the Middle East as well. So he was a shape-shifting person who was also a shaman. He embraced healing, he embraced death, he embraced non-ordinary realities beyond our own realm. So therefore, Christ was also a shaman, and he appeared in many forms. I was hearing a, listening to a tape on the way out west a couple weeks ago about the Hopi Navajo shamans. And indeed, they were talking to a Hmong shaman from Laos, Cambodia, and they had the prophecy about Christ. It was Jeshua, who was half human and half God, 2,000 years ago, that brought them intelligence for the Hmong. So we have a common theme. We find now in this plant that shamans have been reduced to various cultures around the world that keep shrinking. And their strongholds now are in Hawaii with the kahunas, in Siberia with the Buryat shamans, in parts of Europe, in Africa, in South America with the Matizos and Curandos of Peru, in parts of the Aborigines of Australia, and our own American West with the shamans of the Hopi and the Navajo out west of the parts of the world. So they speak a commonality among these Wechois of Mexico and others. They share a number of common threads to create a light body which is beyond belief of who you are. The shaman, first of all, most of them have costumes, accoutrements, if you will. They're chosen by them to create allies of power among the worlds of creation, above, below, and within, of north and south and east and west. And these power allies or animals or creation beings, wherever they are, all hold the power of real intelligence to create the energies of who they are. So the shaman here in this case employs also, we see in the same case, we see the shaman employing as well a culture of music. Without exception, we see in the world of shamanism, the shamans resort to music in the entire world. This involves levels, the levels of two and three different levels. We have the rattle. <laughs> 